What's up, everybody? Joe White here. So I'm sitting here today cooking dinner. I'm about ready to sit down to eat my dinner. And I see that the uh, trailer for The Crow, the new Crow movie, has come out. Um, I, I want to get this right. I just... Uh, Bill Skarsgård is set as... Uh, Is set to return. Now, Bill Skarsgård played Pennywise in It, the new It, which, again, was really good. Bill Skarsgård is a hell of an actor. Um, it also stars FKA Twigs, uh, Talia Debit Barnett, why can't you just call yourself Talia Barnett? Why we why do we gotta call you FKA Twigs? Use your real name. Apparently she's some rapper. Okay. Um and <sighs> this is the fifth film in this film franchise, and it's a remake of the original one. A murder. He it star, stars Bill Skarsgård as a murder musician who is resurrected to avenge the death of himself and his fiance. Um, Skarsgård was they they. This is fast food, man. I know the original movie was shot in a very very short time, and it ended in tragedy. But I'm I'm gonna put aside the Brandon Lee thing because it's easy for me to sit here and go. That this is disrespectful to Brandon Lee, and Brandon Lee will be rolling over in his grave, and blah 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 blah. blah. I, which I, I, you know what? It's ultimately about the comic book, and it's ultimately about kind of doing that original film justice. Because if it wasn't for that original film, this would not be happening. Obviously, they, I mean that original film is such a good movie with a very very small effects budget. But with very, very good actors. Very good actors. And very good acting by Lee. And everybody else involved. You can't... And, and, and a friend of mine goes, I won't compare the two. Yeah, because you're comparing Joker Crow, which is what I'm calling this. Because of all the face tattoos. And yeah, his paint kind of looks similar. More aligned to those in the, that in the comic book. Um, but the face tattoos and the look, the overall look is just turns me off. Um, this is getting released June 7th and I don't know if I want to go see this. Um, it, it, it's, it's from the trailer. I can tell you that they've given away the, unless you want to know. I guarantee you this is one of those cases. This is how much this movie has me miffed. This is one of those cases where all the good parts are in the trailer. This is one of those things where they've given the entire plot of the movie and probably every best action scene in the movie has been put in this trailer because they know that people didn't ask for this. They know that people didn't want this. They know that out there... There's going to be a legion of fans saying, like I'm saying, hashtag not my crow. Again, I'm a fan of Bill Skarsgård. Um, phenomenal actor. This is just wrong, man. This, and, and then they have the, the whole death thing with, oh, him coming back to life, but oh, you could save her, which makes me think that, okay, either they're going to go back in time or they're going to resurrect the woman too because heaven forbid nowadays we get a, a black woman die in a movie. Um, so it's just, it's it's wrong. I don't like it. It looks, he looks like, he looks like Joker Crow is what I'm calling this guy. And I, I'm, I'm, I was going to put it on Facebook, but I'll say it here. They've taken a basic badass part revenge, part supernatural, part love story and turned it into a Mickey Mouse gore for the sake of gore. There's people's heads getting shot off in this movie. There doesn't need to be this much blood to tell this story. But I'll get back to that. 
They've turned it into a Mickey Mouse gore for the sake of gore, Euro trash story. Because apparently this whole movie takes place in like, I'm assuming England or London, somewhere around there. Why? Uh, it's horrible. I think they know it or else they wouldn't have given away everything, including the entire death scene in the trailer. The trailer. You watch him and his wife get murdered in the trailer. This is all wrong. You know, and, and gore for the sake of gore. Um, they, they've they turned this into John Wick Crow. John Wick, I, I like John Wick. I did like that movie. But it has ruined the action genre. Because everything that's come out since then has tried to be like John Wick. It's just like after Lethal Weapon was released in the late 80s, you had everything, everybody, you had, what, Tango and Cash came along. Which I actually like Tango and Cash. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. But they, they tried to do every buddy cop ripoff after that. So they've turned this into John Wick Crow. Crow meets John Wick is what this is. And it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Even the special effects, there's one scene where he takes a gun and just blows a guy's face off, and it just blood splatters everywhere. It looks like a B-grade horror movie. This is not my crow. Not my crow at all. I, I am seriously on the fence if I'm going to go see this or not. I really am. I don't know. I really don't know. Let me let you guys know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Go watch the trailer first, then let me know what you think. So far, I don't want to see this. Nobody asked for it. Nobody wanted it. And to me, it's something that should not be remade. There's certain things like Scarface should never be remade. Grease should never be remade. There's certain movies that should... The Godfather, oh my God. I hope I'm dead and gone before we see that. I should, I, I should just shut up right here and stop giving them ideas. They're going to remake The Godfather... With a with a Mexican family instead of a instead of a, an Italian family next. There's some there's just certain things that should not be touched, that are better left alone in film history. Put it in the vault. Keep it in the vault. When you get the urge to see it, pull it out of the vault and watch it. And don't throw up any stupid disclaimers like what Disney's doing. I went to go I went to go watch Aladdin. No, yeah, well, I ain't watched Aladdin in a while. I like a good cartoon. You get this 15-second message now on Disney Plus telling you, this movie depicts races and cultures in a negative way. It was wrong then, and it was wrong now. Well, apparently you didn't think it was wrong then because you wouldn't have released it. And then you go, rather than delete it from our service, we are choosing to learn from it. No, it's called, you know if you delete all the classics from there, Subscribers are going to go along with it. And Disney's bleeding enough as it is. But this is not my movie. This is not a, my crow. I, I This is not John Wick. It's the crow. It's a completely different story. The original crow made you feel bad for this guy. He and, and, and only a small sliver of that movie, when he's out there getting revenge, you're not exactly cheering him on as he does it. You know he's doing it. To, to to heal his pain. And he's not doing it to bring his wife back. He goes back into the grave and dies again after it's done. He doesn't go out there and become the Baba Yaga or whatever it's called, the boogeyman. What the hell are they thinking? Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to leave it there. This is, this is crap.